Good morning, guys. 300 kilometers today. We're going to Bulgaria. I lost Marie <laughs> after four kilometers. We're in a hurry to get to Sofia because tomorrow I've got a flight to Berlin. I'm meeting my sister. She's coming all the way over from Australia. Sofia was supposed to leave yesterday, but things got delayed, so we're leaving today. Arriving here was quite the excitement. First time I went down to zero, I have zero percent. Yeah, you were, you were going way too fast. <laughs> zero percent battery on Eve. But I still could go like three or four kilometers and probably a little bit more, I don't know. But she was quite empty. It took quite a while for her to get from zero to one percent again charging up. And I put in 14 kilowatt hours. Wait, where is Mariga? Another huge, we've got 300 kilometers on the huge day with the border crossing. Um, so yeah, it's sunny. And so far, so good. Double toot toot. I mean, she was right behind me, and that on her last day. There she is. <laughs> I like it better when she's in the front, so I can make sure we're not losing each other. Yeah, we have to take a little bit of a uh, highway now because otherwise it would be too much of a detour. We want to go to Sofia. You pay for me, yeah? Toll road. First toll road, we only left my house like five minutes or five minutes ago and we're in the first toll road. But motorbikes was 20 cents and cars are... Hi, me and the motorbike. Yes. And cars are 30. Fast run by one, okay? Yeah, yeah, he knows. Yeah, thank you. So, 50 cents in total. Um, yeah. After two That's not too bad. I don't know how the charging situation is going to be like in Bulgaria. That's why I'd rather stay behind a, a truck today. Which this helps so much with the range, you have no idea. And it's so much more comfy, like there's no wind. There's basically no wind, that's so cool. Yeah, I could I could get a windshield, I know, but I don't like the looks of it really. I like it better with, with the open, you know, no fairing kind of style. Our second toll road, this time it's 70 cents. No, Mark 70 cents, and I'm a Euro. Uh, yeah, the last one was like 50 cents in total. It's all very random, but looks like Mark's paying this time. Woohoo! Okay. Yeah. Looks like you can pay with credit card. Makes life a lot easier. Just tap and, tap and get. Tap and go, not tap. It's the oddest place. There was a um, fireplace and a massage chair and they sold gyros and it was the cleanest toilets I've ever seen and they had soap and paper towels and toilet paper. Wow. In a gas station. Yeah. So since Marie is leaving me for a while, I had to check out if I can pack everything I need also for camping. And it's not easy to get everything in there really. It's just 55 liter. The tent stays on top anyways, but I still have tonight to optimize a little bit. But I should be able to take everything with me that I want to for camping, living, and uh, there's gonna be it's gonna be a lot of camping, a lot of camping. How do you feel about leaving me? <laughs> this morning I was beaming, but not to leave you, just uh, beaming to get back to Berlin. You gonna miss me? We're so gonna miss you. What are you gonna do without me? I'm gonna cry in my helmet every day. <laughs> Anyways, we're crossing the border now to Bulgaria.
Caillou. Caillou. Should be not too crazy because we're still within the EU. Should be alright. It's actually taking longer than we thought. It's weird because it is European Union and usually there's not so many checks. So yeah, I think here it's like the two windows are just right next to each other, leaving and entering. Hello. 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 Marcos, yeah? All right. Yeah. My passport. Oh, my passport. Does she have it or, or he? He must have. He must have. Yeah. I got it back. Marie didn't get it back. Greece. Bulgaria. Thank you. No have a good day. Okay. That was easy. Hello. It's got. Uh, that was cool because they had like the two windows back to back. Oh, there's police. <laughs> Put on my seatbelt. Um, Hello. Up, yeah. One window and then next, right, right next to it is entering, where are we? Bul Bulgaria. Um, I'm just going to pull over here. Um, There's nowhere to park. There's people there. Yes, I'm here. <laughs> ah, she spoke German. <laughs> Auf Wiedersehen. Like completely separate and random, like the last places was like one window, then you like drive for a bit and then get to the next window and no one knows what's going on. So that was easy, but I'm not there anymore. Oh, there's Mark. <laughs> <laughs> okay, now I'm, Are we good? Now I feel awkward. All good? Oh, I feel awkward. 40 kilometers to the charger, 39% range. That should be no problem. Now it just has to work. Did it! Now another border control done, dusted, and ticked off the bucket list. Oh no, okay, I lied. There's another window. <laughs> I thought we did the two windows, and I was like so chuffed how convenient it was. What are we going through here? What is this? What is this? Weird thing. Ah, that was from the COVID, from the COVID days. I guess they disinfected everything here. So this must be entering Bulgaria. Bulgaria. Oh, no, he just drove straight through. Ah. Do I stop? Or I just get driving. No one's like saying to stop. I just get driving. No. No one's stopping me. Okay. Oh, it's a toll road. I'm so confused. Oh, thank <laughs> you. Just Hello? Roll on through, whatever that was. It was confusing. Yay, so I guess we're out. There's like so many trucks. It's crazy. Crazy crazy. What's this truck doing? Coming down in front of me, of course. No fucks given yeah, here. Yeah, very busy here at the border. Wow, okay. Want me to go in the front? Yeah. So we've still got 181Ks to go to our Airbnb in Sofia. Yay, we're in Bulgaria. I haven't been here before, nor is Mark. So it's good to tick off another country that we both have been to. So, toot sweet. Welcome to Bulgaria. Just have to figure out how it's going to be here with the toll. We have to buy a vignette for you. No, I can do it online. Oh, is it? Just want and to is do it like number plate. Yes, yeah, right. so I just want to do it now yeah. because we were already driving yeah. now. Yeah. I did such a weird maneuver. I had to make a track reverse for me. You now have a seven-day vignette, online vignette. I would have just driven all around the world, unplanned. <laughs> There were signs all over this road. 
because it's not just highways here, it's all national roads too. Eve doesn't need anything. Motorcycles are free. So, the Jimmy's filled up. Um, it definitely was a lot cheaper than in Greece. I don't know how much, it doesn't say on the sign how much it is for unleaded. Um, but, like per litre, but it costs After me... 90 meters, bare right. 39 euros. And I, I wasn't on E, but I was like under quarter. So pretty much a whole tank, 39 euros. So that's pretty good. That was better than Greece for sure. See, there's all these cameras here. That's weird. Like this, this doesn't look like a, a big road here. And Google also doesn't say it. So anyways, the charger should be right here somewhere. Yeah. There he is. And I have to activate it from the restaurant. I read that already. Hi. I want to uh, charge the motorcycle. Uh, she doesn't know. She doesn't know. I'll, I'll just try it, maybe. Is that money or white bucket? But it looks active. I might just try it. See what happens. Now I just have to figure out how to pay. Yes. You hungry? Still not quite sure how to pay, and I'm not sure if they understood me. But the food looks food looks very good. Wow. That's a big chicken. Want some of my chicken? Mm -hmm. Yeah. 100%. Huh? Yeah. <laughs> Let's do it. <laughs> yeah, <but laughs> All right. Goodbye. The ladies like Eve. All right, that was a really, really good meal. Our first meal in Bulgaria. And they charged me four euro for the charge. If I ever own a restaurant, I will have a charger there, 100%. Jim Jim's full, our bellies are full. We had an awesome like grill restaurant where the charger was and we had a salad and some chicken. And now we're driving, so we've got 134 k's to go. And so far it's really pretty here. Like it's green and the roads are like windy and cool. And it looks super windy though. Yeah, so far Bulgaria is pretty. This road here is called the A1 and it goes right up to Sofia and man, <laughs> that's so awesome. You're surrounded by the mountains and it's just, it's, it's, it's just incredible. And a tunnel. Ha <laughs> ha.
I know very little about Bulgaria, but so far the first impression is amazing. Can't wait to explore a little bit more. Look at Marie's car. Can you uh, accelerate? Like, yeah, really? Are you in park? Uh, oh, yeah, it's park okay. Hotel? Yeah, yeah. Well, something is in there. was just the heat shield slowly rusting away and it just got loose on the top of it. And I just, you know, bend it a little bit and now it's not vibrating anymore. I fixed it, Jimmy. No. Yeah. Are you serious? Started. Wow, you're so handy. Handy to have around sometimes. Yeah, but I just feel like the exhaust is coming off and more is coming off and more and it gets rattly, then it falls off. Then it gets rattly, then it falls off. There's really no exhaust left, so. <laughs> yeah, but as long as it's there, <laughs> like if, if it's not falling off, then it's but all it is good. it's falling off. Pieces are falling off here, there and everywhere. Somebody once told me, don't fix what's not broken. But it's literally broken. It's not broken. It's literally broken. Yeah. Not bad for a lot of highway and mountains. One last toot toot before you go. Okay, so one last toot toot until three weeks. Three weeks! Toot toot! <laughs>